what you are doing, uh, Vanessa? What can be a good outcome of the summit would be a vision that will help countries, people, uh, especially developed countries, to understand how they can replace the current financial structures that are reproducing the colonial structure and then replace it with a people-centered and human rights-based approach to uh, supporting to the most vulnerable to the climate crisis starting today. The necessity to develop their countries and their economy and we live in a world... For you, Vanessa, about um, the total project in Uganda, did you have any opportunity to talk with... Uh... If Macron wants to actually do something, he needs to realize, as Greta was saying, that the climate crisis isn't just extreme weather events and emissions and financing, it is about social justice. It is about people, as Helena mentioned earlier. And that is what we have to walk away from. That is what we have to remember, that they can do all these summits, but if they're not doing anything for the people who are most marginalized, both in their country and across the world, then it is nothing. She's a researcher and ecofeminist who championed the empowerment of women, girls, and frontline. The most important thing about this summit is to create a vision towards the future that we want and to include these aspects that we've been talking about, these as holistic aspects of equity, of global climate justice. Um, I think a success from, from our side, I th at least from, from my side, was to acknowledge that these perspectives need to be included in these conversations. The aspect of, of climate justice and equity has been more or less excluded from the global climate negotiations um, and the discourse.